When Annette Anderson heard a presentation at her daughter's college sorority about CASA, she thought it sounded like a good volunteer match for her. And she was right. Annette has been a CASA volunteer for six years and has advocated for seven children in three families. Although the number of families is misleading because her current case has three children, but they are on very different timelines and their cases are all quite different. Annette's first case had three children who were placed several counties away from Fairfax. They'd had little formal education and all needed IEPs. The parents didn't speak English and Annette didn't speak their language. They struggled with substance use issues and there was domestic violence in the home. It was not an easy first case. Annette thought, if not me, then who? She fought hard for services for the parents and the children. She battled the school district because it didn't want to give the children IEPs. Eventually, the parental rights were terminated. And when the children were placed in a pre-adoptive home in Virginia Beach, she continued visiting them and she advocated all over again for their services until their adoptions were finalized. The case lasted five years and Annette stayed until the end as GALs, specialists, and other service providers left the case. On Annette's current case, when the youngest child was born at 27 weeks gestation, Annette was allowed special access to the NICU because she could be counted on to show up regularly to cuddle the baby, and they chose wisely. Annette showed up several times a week for over two months and held the baby until she was healthy enough to be discharged. Annette has logged many miles doing her CASA work. She's had two appeals to the circuit court. She's always on time with court reports and timesheets, and she monitors all the services and appointments in her cases. She helps out with recruiting and always has way more continuing education credits than required. Annette's superpower is people just talk to her and tell her things. When she took over her current case, which had been ongoing, she earned the parents' trust immediately and gained valuable insight into the case. The children on her cases love her too, and dogs love her. She is passionate about her other volunteer commitment with the dog rescue organization. She loves travel, enjoys UVA sports and the Nats. She's a devoted daughter, wife, and mother of two. She takes her commitment to her CASA children and this organization seriously and is always willing to drive the extra miles or do the extra visit or hold the infant in the NICU. We are so fortunate that Annette chose CASA. Congratulations, Annette, on being named a May Cook Award winner for 2021.